So folks get no one in. This was a half past five start, so really couldn't record at that uh, low light. We are mile and point two in. I guess 25 minutes ago and these fellas walking real fast, I don't know why. And um, we head in. Where are we going there boy Andre? Cyril Bay first? Yeah, we're going to Cyril Bay first. Right, so we walk in from Maracas Bay, that's where we park. So, we meet for the end of the boat. Oh, yes, there are about. Oh, like a hobbit. Hopefully, my people. That's a good question. The second one is a really good question. The second one is what we call, you know, in them um, competitions, you just get a booby prize or something. Or? <laughs> surprise, there, yeah, a surprise park or something. But you showing up and being on time in some spots, we'll see how that will go. Folks, two and um, a quarter mile gone. We now reach the lookout from Maracas. Is the crew here? Tony look like he is stopping. Some people go in and check out the arm, um, the view in the back. That looking like Matthew coming time over there. I can't believe this. Matthew didn't want to walk from Morocco, so he decided to pull up by the And the team decided, you know what? Two miles into this, we go in and take a look at this lookout because we had the opportunity. an incredible um, adjustment of events. We 2.4 miles in, we just passed the lookout. We pick up Matthew and we pick up um, Tony. I'll be four. Correction, so we pick us up. <laughs> Andre, how much we have on the side now? How much people we have on the side now? We start the hike with how much? I think five. Yes, I know. We start at six. Start at six and we have eight now. So folks, that is it. Uh, apparently team fitness have a thing going on. We start the hike and we just finish with more people. Deborah, this is the fourth occasion. We start a hike with a certain number and finish with more. So folks, that's Andre saying it's Tony's law of multiple. So folks, this is Deborah in the back here. She's new with us and this is what Deborah is looking at. So we just under two and a half miles, so see you early on the next half mile. Folks, two and three quarter miles from Maracas Beach, behind me is the Cyril Bay Tunnel. We came from that way, that's the crew coming from Maracas Beach. This is the Cyril Bay Tunnel, two and three quarter miles. And according to Andre, now it's time to anti mosquito up. So that's what they're doing, they anti mosquito up him. Guys, on the way down to Cyril Bay. <laughs> Folks, we're looking for the beach. We're about uh, half a mile down. Two quarter mile down, so we're close to the beach. We saw a boat out in the water. 
3.6 miles in. Three point six miles in and we on Cyril Lee. Folks, we see in at least four boats on Cyril Bay this morning. And one little thingy going across to our waterfall. Are we going to ask them people for a, a, a ride? Folks, I thought what I know that. I know that. But I have to Margaret Manor Beach with Stone. Andrew? Folks, oh, Sarah Bay, you say that if, um, David said they bring more that beach with David, as you were saying earlier before, the human face takes 68 muscles to smile. Oh, yeah. Tony face is take 434 muscles to smile. And still, you don't get a smile. Still, I don't want you to Come on, up now. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> the break is smiling on where you're real working hard. You're <laughs> working hard, you know, Andre. Yeah, yeah. 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 Folks, we're going to the waterfall on Cerebi and Tony from the trip. But of course, when you can't find a trail, you always walk up the stream. But Tony, with his great, greater wisdom and experience, found the trail and bringing us along the trail to the waterfall on Cerebi area. Now, fellas, I had to say, it looked like I had to take a bait. Tony, where is that? Say that way. 
And Debra make sure and get her coconut first, check her smile. And she appreciate them as trophies. Well, you think I come and get it when you're finished walking? I find so. Encouraging violence in the back there? Excited. Where's that? 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 And Deborah says she bring her big knife because she gets it. Yes, because she's up front. Yes, but the thing is, how Deborah learned so fast to get back chat with and to the right person. Somebody like only do some kind of book and get a hand a handout? Oh, okay. She just had the man for for five minutes and she not only. <laughs> I find only giving them too much back chat. Yeah, but you'll come back for you'll come back. I ain't telling them nothing. My and they will come. And you come from Tony, you have any Tony, you have water, boy? Tony, you thirsty, boy. You have anything? We do all of that pipe down there to go to the beach. To go to the waterfall down there. I won't mention the name of the waterfall, right? Yeah. The best waterfall that we, we you know, it's just right. It's the best waterfall if you touch the record. The water, boy, the temperature of the water, boy. Tony didn't know where to put. Tony just going wet, I can do and do get wet, so that's our next kind of weird. Like he's some kind of zen thing, boy. I don't, I, 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 I don't know. I, I lost for words. We go ask Deborah. See if we can change up and down. So, folks, at the start of the trail to go down to Balata Beach. You, we did have to do some cutting just for a short distance, maybe 10 to 15 meters, possibly 20 meters down. On the way to Balata Bay, folks, at the beginning, there are some cutting to do. Folks, so. six point three miles into this hike after cutting a portion of this trail, we had a good dog. We hold it on to our route. Folks, we hold it on to our route because we're going down into that. Everybody pull out phone, all of a sudden we're going to be we're going nowhere else though. How's the team coming? The lazy boys going and cut something. See you when we get down to the beach. Check the view of the beach on the other side and check the view of the beach right here. Where the trail brings you. Folks, we are on Balata Bay. We had to walk around to the right to get to the big beach. We will see who taking the plunge to figure out how to get there. Atai Tai. Atai Tai. Is the rest of the group here? Come on, come on, come on. 
I'm going to wet shoes. Coffee and small grass. Yeah, guys, or I can walk across Chess Eye. As the team coming behind me, they eh? close to the rocks. Now we know one banana. Look at that behind me. Look, we deal making it. Palata Bay, folks. We were across there in Marakit not too long ago. That's Marakit over there. The folks, that's the shawl, yeah? Palata Bay. Folks, this is a uh, this is called David's Fix Coconut Project. David is giving advice as the director. We have one director, one manager, and a CEO. But we have nobody to pick the coconut. So, Matthew is saying he feel like he ain't going very far. But to try. Well, we know Ole was going and get his stick and go up on top of the uh, on top of the Matthew did pelt something and hit the coconut with it. I give him creds for that. Andre was the um, planner. The David is the director. The $10 coconut by the corner of the road was much better and easier. Really? Yeah, $10 yeah. coconut, yeah. $10 I think. And and maybe you're off the man. No, I have seen it. So the man knocks a hundred cents. Twenty-five dollars for it. For it's not 25 for coconut, coconut boy. It can be 25? Yeah, which is the coconut. You buy a bottle, you buy a bottle. You buy a bottle. So apart from they they now realize instead of trying to pick the coconut on Balata Bay, they could actually just hike back up and buy coconut by the local. For ten dollars. But we are determined. We have a stick. Andre, the director, went with the um, foreman, which is Matthew, to get a stick just now. We don't know what they do with it, but the stick, um, the process with the stick didn't work. And we coming back down here with Michael Shallery, right? Okay? <laughs> coming back down here with Michael Shallery. We forget those now. Folks, this, they're going to employ the stick technique again because. 
Um, Andre say you have to use your nuts to get those nuts. So. Let me see this process here, Andre. This is one foreman. I'm clocking the cat for the day. Yeah, he out of the coconut um, picking process. He determined, you know? And, you know, for the record, I claim any first coconut, eh? And I don't think you'll get first coconut. Yeah, it might be a some part going on here, but. I thought they were gonna tie the um the knife to the edge of the pole, but they didn't use. Yeah, okay. So they couldn't find rope. Now this is if these men could survive in the wilder, folks. So. We we see in some um. We see. In... No, we're not cutting cut the coconut. So this. Now, folks, notice nobody is helping poor Machu. Eh? The cameraman will drop the camera and grab the coconut and run. Eh? Now, what? Folks, that's incredible. It's really incredible to see the depth at which these men went and find a stick to try and pick a coconut. Um, coconut is not a mango, is it? And David telling me how to push it. David giving advice and Andre spectating. I just recorded. I've never seen this kind of episode before. Let's look and see how this works. That the coconut is being jammed against the edge of the stick. So what kind of nut we tie in there, David? A reef nut. Reef nut. Simple but effective. Simple but effective. The man say. I don't see a voter confidence on Matthew's face, but... Folks, this is, it. this is the director of the project. This is the witness of the project. And it looks like she really don't want to be a witness. And these are the, um, this is the foreman and the manager. Because what's um, the angle? A question was asked, what does this have to do with fitness? So we're going to work now out eventually. Folks, this is Matthew and myself. Good boy, Matthew. And we're going to show the folks Balata Bay in the background. Okay. Now we can see them. We can see them here? Now they need to Balata Bay. As your boys, one minute to so that's the Bible Folks, after um, the failed expedition to pick the coconut, we're going back to home base, have some lunch. That's the group behind me, eh? That's Andre ahead, Matthew ahead of him. And I'm going to leave you to it. One of the most beautiful beaches is crystal clear like Maracas. Sandy. I bathe twice, I'm going back inside again.
You want to go to Bego there, bro? That is the ferry out there? Short! A lady flagging down the ferry and saying short. Hey, where's that? If you swim out, you think you'll catch that ferry? You ain't catching that ferry, brother. I go in the water, see you guys. Folks, 10 miles. You obviously spent a couple of hours down in Balata Beach. Where's the team coming up? That's your boy Machu right there. Machu, how was this one for you? Of the many we have done. Really nice. Was nice it? Beach. Nice beach. The exploration. Getting there. <laughs> getting, Very steep going down. Getting there was the no challenge. We had to cut, it was steep coming back up. Machu heading towards this car by the lookout. We heading towards Maracas. This is David. David, how was it so far? The beach was wonderful. We had the beach was all the But coming up. Coming up was a was a, a roast. Oh, yeah. It was up and up. I'll, I'll put it on the uh, on the video, the incline and the distance. Debra, I see you come up and you walk in, Gillian. No to stop. Your body just programmed to move. <laughs> the best girl was a light roast. <laughs> a light roast is not really. Stop up here. Andre, how was it for you, brother? It was nice, man. It was uh, a little easier than I thought, you know. I thought it would be. Um, yeah, on the way up. Roasted? Yeah, but we went at a nice pace and 28 minutes to come out. That was? That was excellent. Yeah, yeah. I was, okay. Yeah, kind of excellent. Alright, Andrew. I'm going to have to go to the Why? Why? Somebody looks like I'm David. So, folks, we have a couple of miles back to the beach, so we can see you there. This is the end of the Balata Bay hike. Second um, leg of this one. So, see you all. Ten point two miles. We finished the second beach, which is Balata Bay. The first um, beach was Cyril Bay, right? This is a uh, midday now. We started half past five. We started with six. We end up with we we had eight, and now we end up with four four because one person parked a different place. So this is the four that walking back to Maracas just a couple of miles. No, if you end up, if you start at eight, one person on a different day, that will explain how we end up with four. Well, I, I did mention that we started with six. We got eight along the way. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to explain that one, David, when you get a chance. So, folks, we're on the, we're in the middle of the 10th and 11th mile here. So, see you at the end of the 11th mile on the way to Maracas. As you can see, we're on the road in the shaded side. And there's a smashing view on the um, on the left. That I had a hole it above the car. So see you all on the next one. So folks, 11 and a half miles into this hike, seven and a half hours gone. We're now making our way and watch that spectacular view. That's our lovely little bar up there. With the background of those mountains. And that's the team Adiba. Line us to Midday sun folks. In the rainy season. See you all here Adiba. Folks, 11.62 miles. We stopped by this little um, location. Look at that. Tell me if you can identify that beach behind me. This will be one of the most picturesque hikes, challenging hikes, and exciting hikes we've ever been on. Cyril Bay, Balata Bay, from Maracas Bay.
folks. So finally, the end of the hike on the exact 12 mile marker. That's the Isle of Maraca site. This is Team Fitness bidding everyone farewell until the next hike. This one was totally enjoyable, very exciting. Um, it was exploratory and it turned out to be exactly that. Both Cyril Bay, Balata Bay, plus the walk from Maracas Beach to there. Technically did three hills, 1,200 feet each. So folks, I'll leave you to this view. As the team now heading for lunch, after eight hours of hiking from five o'clock, which means it's approximately 1 p.m. or just before 1 p.m. now. Two hours at Balata Bay was truly, truly special. That's the remaining three of the crew. And that's Maracas Beach where we're going for lunch. So this is Team Fitness signing off for today, guys. Have a good one.